but Ooh. now that I've taken the courses and she told me that I'm doing so great she told me that I should do it myself for other people and we don't have any type of woman etiquette amongst our African we don't, we don't. We don't. Um, I'm not saying it in a bad way but you will only find this upon like Caucasians but we like used that. to we yeah. used to they had debutantes yeah. you know it was a you know the brown paper bag testing type mm -hmm. thing that we black people used to do to ourselves mm -hmm. we had debutantes you had the debutantes ball mm -hmm. um I think they may still do that somewhere but it's you know we, we kind of dark so we might not right info so I don't know I'm not saying y'all still do that but <laughs> but we did used to have that I think yeah. that would be great so community. it's 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 yeah. it's it's, it's I really think that it would really help our women, especially That's for this true. generation. That's I don't true. mean to say this, ladies, but I very blunt. A lot of our teenagers and young women nowadays are so ghetto. They, they don't have that 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 sexiness, that, that confidence, that class, that class and yeah. everything Great. is on life, boo boo, Great. or, oh, or gang yeah. gang gang, oh, and all yes. this trying to be yes. like Cardi B, yes. look Kim. Yes. Everybody needs to find their own image and learn to love themselves from yeah. the inside out That's and true. the way they make us to be in public. Yeah. 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 And I really want to help our girls with that. Yeah, Please, true, I really yeah. want to be part And I'm, I'm already in the process of getting t-shirts made, bags, booklets, um, with my logos and everything on them. I'm going to start my classes at my job at the theater in hopes on moving into probably a small class or location that I'm looking at. But I'm really, really serious about this because I really want to motivate our young black women wow. to be a, a lot more classier, sexier, confident, and be ladies, yeah. you know? I mean, and stop lacking these up. guys with their pants hanging off. Oh yeah. my god! Jesus. I do. I blame girls for that. Yes, really. I do. They because attract. Because if you it. don't stand there and talk to them, know your they, worth. They're gonna pick it up. Something. And right. Attacks. Attacks. Know your worth. Yeah. That's true. I'll be that is attacks. not swag. No that's not swag. that's not swag. And but sometimes I don't think it's for women that they drop the. No. Sometimes they be flooding. Yeah. yeah. They're trying not to be flooded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, too short. That'd be flooded. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them buy them short, so when they <laughs> sag, they're not so saggy at the ankle. Uh -huh. So if they ever had to pull them up, yeah, yeah. they're going to be yeah. at your knees, boo. Tyler Perry made that note already. Pants falling down? What's your pants falling down? You know, stuff like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's move in to our questions. That she probably already read. No. <laughs> okay, our first question is Would you date someone again who broke up with you in the past? I don't know. Well, I've only had one person that we really like mutually broke it off with, and that's like my current relationship that I was recently in. Would I? She. The person that I dated was an amazing person, uh, beautiful from the inside out, had an amazing heart. Um, and that person really helped me grow because I was going through a difficult time in my life where I had just previously broke up with someone else. And this individual helped me to learn to love myself and live and get out there and have fun again. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, you know, other trials and tribulations happened. I was still broken from being hurt from the previous person that I was with. And sometimes it's kind of hard to try to love somebody else yeah. when you're still torn within. Yeah. And what happened was a lot of my hurt and my pain that I couldn't get over, I kind of rubbed that off on Rolled that person mm -hmm. and not in a good way. Right. And I'm not proud of that. Right. But at the same time, they say you can lose people that are really dear to you, but I don't look at it. I don't look at that as a loss because I'm a firm believer that if a person is meant to be in your life, they'll be there. That's true. Absolutely. So if me and that person is no longer together, that means that wasn't meant to be. That's true. Yeah. You know, no matter it's always no matter what happens. Yeah, in time, you know, you can come back to at least be your friend because yeah. it sounds mm -hmm. like you are a really good friend. Yeah, we're, we we were really good friends in the beginning. It's kind of rough right now because of the breakup period we had, and I know it was like a really hard breakup 
for that person because of what we went through. But at the end of the day, like I said, what's meant to be is meant to be. Maybe mm -hmm. she was her reason, and I'm not afraid to say it. Maybe her reason for coming in my life was to help make me learn to love myself oh, again yeah. or whatever. Or then at the same time, you know, I didn't say sometimes people may need space. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes mm -hmm. things fall apart to come back together again. Mm -hmm. But what I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know because have faith things okay. have changed mm -hmm. from the way they used to be at the past. She's not the same person anymore and neither am I. So I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned purpose. I always say people come into your life for a, a reason, reason and, and or a lesson unfortunately, learned sometimes. Too. Unfortunately, we always think of the romantic one first, right. you know, or the, um, the, save me type, you right. know, for in, in whatever type of category. But if we could just see the purpose first and then receive it just right. for that and be good, be like, okay, we done. You, you ever see the, the dog's purpose, that movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had a purpose and then he, like, passed on, you know, went to somebody else. Mm -hmm. But if we can see that for him, that would be, like, mm -hmm. so awesome. Like, yeah, I love that. You know what, dude? You know you only here for a month. <laughs> no, not, not even, let's not even, not even, even try to do all this other stuff because you know we only got a month we got you got the memo right, right? <laughs> oh well <Okay. laughs> what else we got on right. that list okay um what attracts you most to a person Ooh, that's a good one felicia um let me see i've been asked this question plenty of times intelligence hmm um, intelligence is my number one that attracts me to a person. On an intellectual level, we have to be able to have great conversations. Oh, yes. You have to have goals. You have to have a drive. You got to have dreams because I cannot be in a relationship with someone that is not motivated or goal driven. What, what, what could we do? Exactly. Sit and talk about talk the, about your goal. The Cosby, no, exactly. <laughs> what we gonna do, baby? And then, <laughs> and then after a while, you get sick and tired of talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. But what we gonna talk about? I don't want to talk about Trump. I don't want to talk <laughs> about the news or what goes on in the world. I want to mm -hmm. get to know you here, exactly. yep. here, and all the rest of that love, sex, all of that, that can come. come. That can I'm come. Later, later. But I need to know what's up here first. That's true. Well, you, you gotta know, make me laugh though. Exactly. Right. Because you gotta get a punch in the face and laugh about it. If you ain't a fool like me, we can't be together. Let's just be real. I need to see your FICO by the third day. Why well, I don't need to see it. Right I do because I don't want you to. I don't need to see it. I need to love it. I need to see it. Like Alicia, I need. I don't need you talking about. Can I hold something? Okay. Can I hold something? Like what? Can I hold something? 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 Can I uh, oh, next question. <laughs> no, so silly. Okay, the next question. Um, what is the worst way to approach a person that you want to get to know? The worst way to approach them? Yeah. <laughs> to ask a man, is he gay? I wanted to do that. I would do. I do that in a heartbeat. I'm like I said. I'm very blunt. You get a lot of guys out here. The way the world is today, I mean, oh you my never God. know. <laughs> you, you get so many undercover, whatever, man. and that's you true. get these men that's just fine. They, they cleaner than you. I swear. And you be wondering, like, you hollering, but do you like Peter too? <laughs> you know, I want to ask those questions. That's, I think that's the worst thing that we do to a guy. Cause that's very. I don't think so. That's a <laughs> but that is the worst way to approach somebody. Somebody told me to ask a man if 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 you want to know if he's gay, you have to ask them, "Do you have sex with men?" Whoa! To know if like they're that's... gay. Oh. Well, sometimes because they, can... they may not know what gay mean. Oh. Are you right. attracted to men? There's no way a man can say I'm not gay if he's. Well, any some people type of physical contact I... with him. But it's certain ways you I can, can tell that a man that. is. Gay, you know what I'm saying? How the way they speak, I can't understand how the way they dress. You know, me and me trying to act like they slow. That too, how would they think right, that I way? Because if they feel like, no, I don't go, I don't, uh, I'm not a bottom. I don't go kiss guys. Try to be a bottom. So that means I'm not gay. Like, no, you're gay. Oh, you know, but it doesn't, it might get down, maybe. 
that's yeah. definitely yeah. that's definitely a sign. If you get a guy that always like to have anal sex all the time, something mm. some ain't right with that. Maybe what if they just like that position? Mm-mm. <laughs> you got two hoes. Baby. I haven't met anyone. <laughs> In these got 32 up. years of uh, dating that likes a lot of anal, <laughs> I never have to do that. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But anyway. <laughs> well, if you're talking to a guy and he's always popping his lips or smacking or always oh. talking about your hair. Well, and your hair. Every time they explain something, they, they hand like this. Mm-hmm. Like, girl, I just don't That's know. That's there what you're doing. You got to put it in the seat. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a deacon. I'm a joke. <laughs> Lorel said that. Yeah, well, my sister minister explained that one time me and me tasting ourselves. We like, what? What? Wow. Wait, he's a dis. Oh, well, I just did though. Oh my That's God. Yeah. What you say, girl? I'm like, oh, Whoa. what? Is- oh, and that head movement. That's oh. no. No, <laughs> definitely. And if you have a man that crossed his legs better than you, baby, Ooh. baby, baby he, he might be trying to hold some good packages in. Now he gonna let that hand down. Let me see. Right. I gotta see that because this old boss crossed his legs too. They want that to sit on the table. Hold on, a man crossed like this. Right. Though, right, but if a man's like this, I've seen them. Oh. Okay. But if a man packing, he gonna let that leg open so he can sit on that seat. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Okay. <laughs> but I saw Denzel though. He did that. He was like that. So I think, what I think Denzel probably was like this. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think Denzel ain't got all that. It's not coming. Denzel, you ain't got to have oh, all that. We're not that. talking he... about my Denzel right now. We're I guarantee you. That's different my cousin, Denzel. So I can talk about right, it. Um, I, I, get, I, get, I guarantee you Denzel lay in the soul pipe. That's oh, he already laid enough pipe. I he ain't got to lay no more pipe. He mm. got to be. Why? He gotta be. Because there's too many women that love him. That don't mean that they, 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 they didn't know yet. They don't know. Yeah. Let me call you, Denzel. Denzel Put your number on our website. I'm not. I'm so we can make not. sure that you pack it. You know what I'm saying? Put the number down. Let, let me pack it. That's right. That's right. You too many. He guaranteed he pack it. He, he gotta be packing. Then they say the wife had did all of that stuff, took him out on a date, and did that. She was trying to get that D baby. What if he just supposed? Did y'all hear me? I'm Maybe serious. she was trying to get his inflation. Right, right. She was trying right. to get her tomorrow. She wanted the D. How That's you know she didn't have a D? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the next day. question. Right, right. right. Next question. <laughs> we be in trouble here. Next question. He gonna kill us. We talking about Denzel Johnson. <laughs> right. Over on Right, right, not Washington. Not, Washington. Right, right. not him. We love you, Denzel. My cousin named Denzel Washington, by the way, so yeah. We're okay. talking about that. We Denzel. talking about him, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Um, would you use sex as leverage to get your mate to keep their word about the secret? No. No. She said no. Why not? No, why? Mm-hmm. I why? just want to know why. Because... I can't even say what I want to say. Pussy is power, and we already know that. I know it's power. I don't have to use sex for anything. Why? If if I can't get that genuinely, and I have to get sex, it's not worth it. Exactly. It's not worth it. That's true. So a scenario: if you've been asking your guy to put the shelves up, your significant other to put the shelves up in the kitchen for a couple of weeks, and he like, I get to it, baby, I get to it. And he don't get to it. It's week number four. And he still ain't got to it, but he in the room watching the game. The Bears is on. They up by two. And uh, he's like, babe, so uh, you think I can get these uh, shelves up? And then when the game go off, and then it's time for y'all to go to bed. And he move over like, oh, the Bears won. You know what I'm saying? He feeling good about life. What would you do? I'm sleepy. So you ain't going to get it. She ain't going to give it to him. Cause he ain't put them shelves up. But that ain't the reason why. That, right to give him the nookie to push shelves up. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna sex him because that's my mate and that's something I want to do. I'm not gonna use that as a punishment or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you what I would do to make him put them shelves. So what would you do? What would you do? Can I say what I want? Can I say what I want to say? Yes, for a friend. We got beef for a friend. Okay, let me tell you. I would politely come in here while he watching the game, butt ass naked. In the kitchen, put up myself. I was just gonna say that I would put it up myself. Yeah. So while he watching me, he gonna be turned on. Let me come in and help you, baby. And then when I get down, he gonna wanna come and rub. I say me and you could be doing this. 
But you didn't put the motherfucking shoes. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna walk off. Yeah. Okay. No. No, I wasn't gonna say butt naked, but I was gonna say I do it myself. But I don't think I was gonna wait. Yeah, oh, but but no, I was gonna wait to get in my booty. So. <laughs> but that's what I, I'll use that. I would have. Now I'll that's that. that's that's <laughs> torture, but I would have done that naked. But yeah, I would let I my friends know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Girl, put your own know. damn shelves up. Stop <laughs> waiting yes, yes, for yourself. Right. Yes. Also, Shaniqua, just remember that's it's what a man lie. supposed to then oh. get at his ass like, oh. That's okay. I can then get at his butt later. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of women giving coochie. So you withholding sex because he's not doing something. It's only no giving self. him what he think is justification to go get somebody else. He'll still right be himself. coming home. Your shelves will still be down. But he's not going to be the prize. Right. So, and then, girl, put them and then what he up. say it's out. your fault, then you gotta believe him because it is. Well, that's how they get you. I ain't gonna say it is. That's how they get you. Yeah, that's, that's, how, they you. that's yeah, how they get you. They you you been you. holding sex out for me, what you expect me to do? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I actually yeah. wouldn't wait to get put I would put yeah, it up. Yeah, I put it up myself. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, they got yeah. putting up shelves for dummies. A book. Look at that child. Look at that fan. Come go click at our show, subscribe, and like our show. Look at that fan that book at. This is my channel. Yes. So, where can the people find you at if they would like to follow you or, yes. you know, the charm school get to page. know where your well, next I'm, event is? Yeah. Well, I'm in the process of putting up my, um, getting my flyers together for my charm school, but. Um, you guys can follow me on Facebook under my uh, fan page is Felice Tamara J. And that's F-E-L-I-C-E-T-A-M-A-R-A-J. Also on Instagram, Felice underscore Tamara underscore J. And my Snapchat is Silhouette27, S-I-L-H-O-W-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. My Twitter <laughs> my Twitter friends, is friends, like, Felice underscore friend, Tamara J. And... <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Anything that's else it. you ladies want to ask me off book? Yes, I have a question. What is what is your idea of a very romantic date? Please. Asking for a friend. Okay, well, <laughs> me personally, I'm not a materialistic person. I am big on, um, I, I need a person to put their all into that. Mm -hmm. I don't want that typical, let me book Ruth Chris we go out to dinner. No, I need you to create a magical day for me. I want you to cook, make a picnic inside your home or whatever. I don't need all that lavish stuff. I really need to know that you put your, your mind and your heart into mm -hmm. this. And that's what makes me feel special. Put some into it. That's right, put some into it. I mean, like, sending me out to a spa or sending me to get, get a massage, why you can't do it? No. I'm, I'm a very affectionate person. So I'm just letting you guys know I'm very affectionate and I'm big on attention and I just really need you to show me that's what you really want to do. The thought process is what really means a lot to me. You could come in here with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken, laced it out with a motherfucking sheet on the floor, decked out with candles. That would mean more to me than taking me to Michael Jordan's restaurant. So you like... Don't put that extra mm -hmm. on yes. mm -hmm. Like he actually thought. Romance me. I yes. know, right? Yes. I spending, have a question. Spending money is not romantic. It's, it's not romantic. It's it not. is if your rent due. My rent due, y'all. No, that's mine first. No, I no, thought you were worried so about his FICA. Oh my God. That that is that. Is right. No, if don't. he can put it on his credit card, <laughs> ah, no, we can talk. <laughs> She's completed. I am. That's why I'm not dating. Well, I have Thank something you. to say. Go ahead. Because October. Begins tomorrow, and we are the Libras. The Scorpio, yeah. 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 October twenty seventh, baby. All That's day, the every night. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But soon as wow. October first hit, I celebrate my birthday, my birthday for the whole entire October month, all the way through Scorpio season. So I'm gonna be in it. Ain't I'm gonna, wrong with that. I'm flooding y'all timeline. So get ready. Don't you got a trailer coming out? Yes. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I have a new film that I'm working on right now. It's Talking called to the mic. No, I'm just <laughs> It's called Revenge Serve Cold. And um, maybe I'll come back on the show again and I'll tell you the backstory about that or how I came to get this, I, which I wrote myself. 
um, the writer director of this project and sitting next to me is one of my supporting actresses well slash lead that's in my movie she's playing the role of Zenobia so, yeah, nice she's name. a she's a kick ass bad ass type she, she, <laughs> she, 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 kind of puts you in the mind of how, kind of like how Taraji was on Acrimony. Okay. Uh, how, if anyone has seen that. Before. I gotta see you. Yeah. I so. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. No. Sorry. Woo! Well, thank awesome. you so much for coming on our show. We really appreciate it. Trailers. You are now officially oh, friends. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and the, the trailer will, <laughs> will drop October 27th on my Woo! birthday. I'm having a, a trailer lunch party where I'm celebrating my birthday at my theater, which is on um, 820 South, wait, 820 West. <laughs> Am I saying this right? <laughs> 210 West 87th Street at the studio. Oh, movie movie Grill. Grill. Yeah. <laughs> no, 87th. So um, the donation is just $5 and all proceeds go towards my uh, production. And that's all I'm asking for to come in and watch the trailer. And I'm going to have a DJ, fun, music. And the theme for that night is Harlem Nights. Yeah. So I'm really big on Halloween. My favorite time in the year. I love costume and things like that. So I still my uniform. if you're into dressing up, <laughs> Come on out and shake a tail feather with me. Okay. It's open right. to the public. Cool. All right. Nice. Cool. You are welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And follow us. Right. Comment. Where can they find you, share. Alicia? Alicia Schaefer, L-I-S-H-A-S-H-A-F-F-E-R. That's Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, also, my website, 23rd Hour Productions. Woo -woo. So you can look on my page, my website for my paintings and stuff like that. You can find me on IG she underscore extra. Very easy, very simple. Now with this long. You're easy. <coughs> no. Oh, the name. The name. Not the character. She's not easy. She has a script. <laughs> 23rd I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Instagram, actress, model me. Facebook, Tanisha, catch me on your TV screen. Lane. Was that too long, y'all? Comment yeah. below. That was <laughs> I have to say, still right, 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 right. All right, see y'all. Thank you for tuning in.